Today in the battle arena, well, we've got the Predator, one of the universe's greatest hunters, hunting down a pretty terrifying monster, one of the monsters from a quiet place. So who's coming out on top here? Who wins? Well, let's find out. So the quiet place monsters, or the death angels, which is just an awesome name, so that's what we'll call them, the death angels are crazy powerful. They're strong enough to one-shot pretty much every single human that they come across. And not just that, but it probably makes sense, they both take down some pretty large animals too, even things like bears, rhinos, and elephants. They're strong enough to tear through all sorts of metal, shake around and mess up cars, buses, trains, and boats, even completely destroy an old factory. These things, the Death Angels, they're real strong. But, but, a Predator is still sneaky strong too. So Predators are some of the most elite hunters in the universe, and they're known to really enjoy hunting on Earth because they see humans as pretty easy prey and we're all over the place. But this doesn't mean that they max out at just humans. The best predators are able to take on xenomorph queens by themselves, They're able to defeat giant alien monsters. In the past, some even hunted the dinosaurs. In order to do all that, you gotta be pretty strong. They're capable of tearing off limbs, ripping out spines, even capable of overpowering six to eight men at once. One predator managed to toss around a charging buffalo, one ripped apart steel doors, ripped through tank armor, sent xenomorphs flying through concrete pillars, one even destroyed a helicopter, another managed to kick over a military truck filled with soldiers. But at the same time, others took several punches just to get through metal. That's not great. But bottom line, both of these guys, both Predators and the Death Angels, are really, really strong. What about durability? What about toughness? Well, with the Predator? Well, to be honest, the Predator is kind of hard to nail down here. Because each Predator is different when it comes to durability. Like, some are able to take Bullets and gunfire, no problem. Standing strong after being shot with pistols, walking through automatic gunfire, even taking a shotgun blast to the face and not going down. On the other hand, others have taken bullets and shotgun blast and didn't do nearly as well as standing up to them. Others have been hurt pretty badly by automatic gunfire, were forced to escape and patch themselves back up. So while I don't think you can call them bulletproof, I think you can make an argument that at the best, the majority of predators are bullet resistant. In the comics, they're capable of surviving point blank explosions, endure and walk through fire. One predator even managed to survive the explosions from an airstrike. But dude, honestly, that's nothing compared to the monsters over in Quiet Place. These things are literally insane, just insane. For starters, they're completely bulletproof. Completely, completely bulletproof. They're even able to take explosions point blank, not even be phased. But that's honestly just the low end of what they're capable of. For starters, these things survived the destruction of their home planet, survived a planetary explosion, and then after that, survived a crash landing on Earth on a meteor with the impact being compared to a nuclear bomb. The Death Angels survived all of it. The only thing they can't survive is high-frequency noises, especially the ones emitted from that hearing aid. It causes them to expose all their soft, gooey insides, which makes them a bit more susceptible to stuff like getting shot in the head. And not just with shotguns either. Sniper rifles, pistols, really Anything will do as long as you soften them up with that high frequency pitch. But if you don't, well, the Death Angel can take just about everything, even nuclear like explosions. So the Predator has some work ahead of him. He's got his work cut out for him. 
good thing for them, though, is that they don't have to approach this fight hand-to-hand. They got their gear and their weapons, and that's where this fight is going to be decided. See, Predators possess some of the most advanced technology and weapons known to man, all of which they're going to be able to use here in this fight against the Death Angels. The Predator has its Plasma Caster, which is capable of blasting through tree trunks, blasting through tanks, blowing up military jeeps, military helicopters, just one shot. It's even incinerated two soldiers at once, or exploded an entire soldier's torso clean off. Its wrist blades are able to tear through two inches of thick steel. A smart disc can cut through steel too. And to top it all off, the predators are experts at laying and unleashing traps. They're also masters of stealth. And with their near total invisibility cloaking, they're able to remain completely undetected even when they're almost right on top of their victims. But again, none of this is going to do any good unless the Predator can find out about the Death Angel's weakness. I mean, on their own, as they usually are, these things are nuclear bomb-proof. They're planetary destruction-proof. Pretty f tough, if you ask me. And they're savage, and they're strong enough, also just quick enough to take down a Predator. But here's the thing, we can't just neglect the fact that the Predator is kind of the universe's greatest hunter. It's not just going to dive right in there and try and take on the Death Angel right away, even with all its weapons and its strength and everything. That's how it gets killed. It's going to hang back, observe, it's going to hunt. And while it does this, the first thing it's going to observe, the Death Angels operate completely on sound. I mean, the guys in Quiet Place were beginning to find this out on day one. The Predator is going to figure it out pretty quickly, too. And from there, well, it's honestly not that far of a reach to think that with an alien with super sensitive hearing, that a high-pitched noise might irritate it might drive it crazy. I mean, honestly, it's surprising that it took the people over a year to figure out that the Death Angels can be taken out by basically a dog whistle. Don't think it'll take the Predator that long to figure it out. You'll really need an elite elder Predator to do it. One of the young bloods will probably get killed pretty quickly, but the elites are something else totally. In order to become an elite, you gotta be able to handle a xenomorph infestation by yourself and be capable of killing a xenomorph queen. Even kill multiple xenomorph queens if you're real good. The best of the best elite predators have killed several dozen queens. And I think those are the kind of guys who can hunt down the death angels, remain quiet, figure out weaknesses, and then kill it. It'll be hard. Definitely won't be easy. But I think a Predator can do it. The Predator wins. But what do y'all think? I would love to hear your thoughts. Who do you think wins this fight? The Predator or the Death Angel? One of the Quiet Place monsters. I would love to hear your thoughts. So sign off down below. Also, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and turn notifications from the Fanco Army, and I will see y'all next time.